Hello my friends and welcome to the video of my desktop. This is my new desktop I should say. And for those who are wondering, I'm on my new computer. Now the good thing about this is it didn't cost me much to make because you know since it's a smaller computer that means it can carry twice as much as the old computer I had did. The computer I'm on is called an Optiplex 9020 and it's by Dell. Now, um, to put all this together, or by the time I actually get, get it all together, the only thing I'm missing right now is a hard drive. That's all. Because when I actually got this, it came with 119 gigs of memory. Part of it, part of it was um, already done ahead of time. So the only thing I would have to do is get everything, get a larger drive space, like a two terabyte, something like that, not two terabyte hard drive, or rather an SSD, get it installed into the computer, and then once I start moving everything from my backup to here, I'm back in business. Now the good thing about it is that most of what I have, as you can see on my, as you can see on my screen, well, Spotify, I actually have. I, I had it on my um, SSD. Google wasn't out so hard to do because all I needed to do was um, just remember my password. Everything just showed up. As for Streamlabs OBS and the other OBS, all I had to do was um, same thing. Put in my Twitch password and my um, username and boom, there it is. Same with Steam and same with everything else. So for the most part that I have, I have pretty much um, a partial bit of my music. None of my games, but I do have Steam. But as far as anything else is concerned, as far as my emulators are concerned, they're still on the SSD and I'm awaiting to get myself a secondary drive to use mainly for my work. Now I can still do videos like these. I can still do small videos, not big videos. But the good thing is, the good thing is I did do a bit of recording before I moved from the old to the new one. So you're not going to see it this week, but you're going to see it next week. And they are the last videos I actually made on my old computer before finally putting it to rest. So also what I have is a webcam. It's a Logitech. And probably I will be using it for vlogs. I am 
definitely not going to be using it for, you know, webcam Let's Plays. I mean, it's enough that I'm doing Let's Play. It's enough that I'm putting a lot of energy into it. I don't need to put added stress upon me doing so while I'm basically beating a game. You don't need to see my face. You've seen my face enough already. I mean, it's on my channel, for God's sakes. You all know what I look like. There's no real change. Uh, so, my apologies for those who haven't heard from me in a while. It's just a lot has been going on. And it has really been tired, as you can tell. It's the sound of my voice. What the yawning I've been doing, pardon. For that, it's just really been a month a couple of months but my god the stuff that I've been through has just been totally exhausting <sighs> so let's get down to brass tacks shall we what you're going to expect from next year. Well, I've already started on a few of my um, early Let's Plays. What I have up already that's ready to go for March. Again, forgive, forgive me on, forgive me for yawning so much, but like I said, been through a lot and I think to add to that I had a doctor's appointment last week so I've been really tired as of late since they ran some tests on me like an EKG and on top of that I've lost various copious amounts of sleep so it's finally catching up to me after all this time so yeah. As I was saying, what I already have up is in March. And that's Super Robot Tyson A. Another. As I put it down, and I was doing some research on the series. Each um, letter for for the series, it actually means something. Like, say for instance, Super Robot, Super Robot Tyson A. A means advance or another. So if I was playing Game Boy Advance, it would be advance. I'm doing the PSP version, so it'll be called another. I also have in backlog um, only two parts of Star Ocean First Departure. Now I was working on a third part but I messed up on it so therefore I'm going to have to restart on the third part in which I'll be explaining how the game works for those who never played a Star Ocean game before and how it works. What I have planned for next year, at least from the start, from the get-go, after I'm done with OG Saga, Wars of Roshi 1, and Digimon Adventure, and possibly Nadia Secret of Blue Water. I mean, I got a lot of games I need to finish. But as you can tell, life has been in the way of doing that. So, aside from the titles I mentioned, and aside from the titles I already got in Backlog, what's also happening is that, um... Like I said, I have Star Ocean, 
I'm currently doing in Backlog. Another game I plan on doing is Utopia. Which is the Hudson Soft version of Zelda. If you've never heard of it, it is quite a good game. Even though, for what it's worth, it has its own level of fun. I've only played it once, but never got far into it. Only because I was just trying it out. Uh, let's see, what else do I have planned for next year? Well, there's Sole, otherwise known as Ragna Senti or Crusader of Senti. So there's that. Crusader of Senti. Um, and I was looking up some other stuff too. Over the course of this weekend, I was watching a series in which you may have heard of called Mashin Eiyudin Mataru The Seven Shards of Yujimaru It's a very short um, series and is the follow-up series of the original Mashin Eiyudin Wataru And for those who don't know on the Turbo Graphics 16, it was dubbed over here as Keith Courage in Alpha Zones. So at least I got to know what the series was about in nine parts. <laughs> and, you know, I understood it. And there, and there have been a few games based off that series. The one I plan to do happens to have a fan translation out. It's been out for quite some time, but, you know, knowing me and how I like to dig, and I mean dig, there is a Famicom version called Mashin Eiyuden Wataru Gaiden. So, look out for that sometime next year. Excuse me. Now, another thing you need to notice is um, I stream every Wednesday. So, we at RCL Industries decided to do something for you guys. You see, since um, this coming week is Thanksgiving, and by then, hopefully, um, I'd be set up proper by Wednesday. I'm giving myself, I'm giving myself, you know, time to ready myself for that day. So, um, we decided to do the following. We decided to do a trade-off on days, Ryu and myself. One day will be for Jackbox, the other day will be for Casino. So, if I'm not set up by Wednesday, Ryu has that day, and we're all on Jackbox till, till say, um... I don't know how long we're going to actually go, go full ham on Jackbox because you can only do so many jokes there until it just basically gets stagnant. And the other day, if it's Wednesday or Friday, we'll be doing Vegas Dreams in Vegas Dreams mode. <laughs> I mean, you've seen us play Vegas Dreams, but we're going to be doing the whole, what we what I plan, or what we plan, or however it's going to work. We're just going to do Vegas Dreams. We're going to have a casino night doing Vegas Dreams. 
So that means your fate may vary. <laughs> Seriously, your fate may vary. It just, it's just on the safe side. <laughs> Safe states will be used. You know, it's going to be like, let's make a deal. You know, it's like door number one or door number two. <laughs> it's like, so let's see what would happen if you said no. <laughs> so you said yes. Okay, let's go. Let's just say no. This is what happens if you said no. But you said yes, so. How'd you go for door number one? No, no but that's what we're going to do. We're gonna do Vegas Dreams because, you know, it's just fun. We're just shooting the shit. And after everything that has been going on this year, especially on my end, yes, it is needed. It is so much needed. I do have other games that I really want to try on this PC. As well as you can see, I have on here a little thing called PS Remote Play. Now, what I plan to do is I plan to get my PS4 hooked up to my other TV, the one behind me. And it is proven that I can play a video game on, on there. So, I'm going to hook my PS4 behind me. And it's going to be like old times because... Um, Back in the day, I actually used to, before I was full on the PC, I used to actually sit in this one spot right here and and play off my um, my PS2. So I'm actually going back to how it used to be for me, which is actually, you know, sit, sit on the side of my bed. And play a bit of PS4. And speaking of which, I had not forgotten about the PS4. I still have some backlog that I am going to get off my hard drive. Basically, I still have Soccer Wars to finish, so once I get the HDMI plug for this TV here I've already ordered it so I'm just I'm just waiting Monday for it so as soon as I get it I'm gonna hook it up to this TV and hopefully I get this bad boy working so I can go back to doing my PS4 let's plays I know I still have Sakura Wars to finish as well as Ease 8 to finish as well as Agents of Mayhem. As for anything else, I'm going to put the PS4 on hiatus after I'm done with those three. Not for a long hiatus, but you know, as much as I could say, like for a few weeks, give or take a second. I also want to do some emulation testing just to make sure what runs on here and what doesn't run. Especially the ones that I normally would have trouble with because the PC I was on was outdated. This one is a bit more smaller and has more muscle behind it. So therefore, I can do a test to see if I can do PS2 as well as GameCube. And like I said, I don't I no longer have speakers, I have a sound bar. So therefore the sound bar is a little powerful. Cause even as I'm laying down I'm watching a watching say an anime series or a let's play or something like that. This own bitch is powerful. So there's that. Aside from that, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. (sighs) 
For those who've had enough of this year, I would not blame you for feeling that way. I too am sick and tired of year of this year. We lost so many people. So many good people. I will not go into detail about who we lost this time around. That will be for another video. And I think what I'm going to do for the sake of this week, just because. Um, I'm going to do some reviews. Reviews of some manga I read on top of the games I played and you know, just, just do a little something. If not that, you know, just basically get it all out in the open. This is what's been going on. Da, 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 da. Well, you already know what's been going on. For the, for those who follow me, what has been going on. I won't say it here because nothing has been final, final, finalized yet. But, um... In the meantime, what I have been doing is um, work has been keeping me busy. As you know, I'm a voice actor, so at least for what it's worth, you know, it does keep me busy. It doesn't, you know, wear me down. It just keeps me preoccupied. And since things are going to change... It probably means I'm probably going to get more work after, say, December. Once December comes in, I might get some more work. My, my schedule will be changing for the better because now I no longer have to do something like this at night. Or maybe I can still do it at night because, you know, it's just me. But for the most part, like I said, things will be changing but for the better and for what it's worth. Um, I hope you'll be there with me when it happens. So, this is me just checking in, just letting you know I'm still alive, I'm still here. And with that, whatever else that is going on, I can only fit at least 20 some odd minutes just, just to say I'm still here. Don't worry. So until the next of whatever I plan to do, be it a review or a let's play or whatever else, I've been your friendly neighborhood Tenkaichi. And also very, very tired as a dog, Tenkaichi. And I'll see you next time for whatever happens, whatever I have, and whatever's gonna be up on channel.